My name is uh, Surya Hota. I'm the uh, director of marketing for uh, ThunderX product line at uh, Cavium. A uh, number of people have uh, talked about Cavium and ThunderX, ThunderX2 in the uh, in the previous presentations. Uh, multiple folks were uh, deploying it uh, in the uh, in their uh, in their systems, and also ARM. The work that we're doing with uh, ARM, but. Uh, So brief overview of Cavium. Uh, we are a leading uh, semiconductor solution provider for uh, high performance computing. It is one of the key markets that we uh, address and also the cloud and uh, data center. So we have a variety of products that go into uh, these segments. Uh, the, uh, from processors are, are bread and butter. ARM-based processors have, uh, as you have heard, Thunder X and Thunder X2, and also we have uh, uh, other products that go into the data center, uh, including uh, XBlind, which is our uh, Ethernet switching product, and all the uh, connectivity uh, products as well, Ethernet connectivity, Fastlink, and uh, uh, Liquid I.O. So overall, and also we address uh, quite a bit of security aspects of the data center as well. A lot has been talked about. The work that uh, has been going on for a number of years now with ARM, uh, Cavium, and all the partners out there to get, uh, uh, to provide a second, uh, better alternative uh, to the architecture that's out there in the HPC. Right? The, the key components here uh, are, obviously, ARM is the most widely deployed uh, ISA out there. Um, open, open ISA, and a much broad ecosystem. So that's the effort of all the work that's going in. And what we are bringing to the table, uh, again, uh, as part of the ARM, as uh, some of the folks from ARM talked about before the break, the uh, tools and the compilers that they're providing specific to HPC is a great, uh, great value. And we have seen that already when we uh, ran the benchmarks on Thunder X2, which we will talk about a little bit more. Uh, Cavium, what are we bringing to the table? You know, we are bringing in the uh, high performance compute uh, centric processor. And we've been in the processor business for quite some time. Uh, and, you know, the high performance, high performance is uh, one aspect of it, and also bringing in at the, uh, uh, at the uh, better performance per watt and performance per dollar advantages uh, to our customers and to the end users. So I wanted to highlight some of the key uh, press announcements that we made. Um, all of them actually went out today uh, uh, the, uh, that we have made and also uh, uh, some of the, our partners and our uh, OEM customers have made. So first thing is the, uh, the announcements by HPE, Apollo uh, 70 system based on Thunder X2 and the uh, Cray XC50 platform uh, focused on uh, it's a supercomputer, so that is using Thunder X2. Uh, that's on uh, display at uh, Cray booth, uh, where you could see XC50 blade with Thunder X2. That's the ARM-based uh, platform. And then we've also announced a couple of ODM uh, platforms uh, from uh, Gigabyte as well as uh, Ingresys. Uh, these are different form factors uh, for uh, you know, a variety of different markets. Red Hat, uh, thanks to John Masters and his team, uh, over seven years of work, uh, the, the uh, Red Hat announced the support for uh, RHEL on ARM. You know, that's, uh, that's a big news as well. So let's take a look quickly where we were with Thunder X and then how we uh, got into the Thunder X2 into the, our, uh, our road into the HPC market. Right? So when we started off with Thunder X, uh, we had uh, quite a bit of traction in the uh, system vendors that we were uh, dealing with, uh, specifically, you know, Cray and uh, Lenovo, all the other ODMs, and Oak Ridge and Hartree. Uh, they have done uh, quite a bit of evaluations. And then uh, with Thunder X2, as you can see on the top left, we uh, have improved performance significantly okay, on a variety of uh, uh, different, uh, you know, memory, maybe the memory or the 
floating point performance or the integer performance was improved quite a bit in Thunder X2. That sort of propelled into the next generation of systems and also made the, uh, made the system bring up and things like that quicker. Okay. And as I mentioned in the previous slide, both HP and Cray have announced uh, their system based on Thunder X2. That's huge for us. Uh, and also you've, uh, you've heard in the morning uh, from Montblanc and uh, Simon uh, for GW4 uh, all, the, uh, all the work on the performance that uh, they are seeing on Thunder X2. And then we have a couple of other platforms as well, Bulatos is one, and then uh, Penguin Computing on the ODM front. Sorry. Yeah, a little bit more. I've uh, talked about these already, uh, HP Apollo 70, uh, and uh, Atos Bull, uh, Bulatos uh, Sequana platform. They're based on Thunder X2 and uh, Tundra from Penguin and Cray XC50 supercomputer. So this slide has been shown in the first uh, presentation by ARM. Uh, the key aspects, I'll just mention, this is our second generation ARM-based um, server SLC, 223X uh, performance uh, improvement from our uh, first generation ARM SLC. Uh, we have uh, 32 cores, fully out of order, multiple threads, multiple issue. Uh, and then uh, the memory, you'll see it in the next slide. Uh, and we have eight DDR4 controllers. Uh, the memory capacity as well as the uh, bandwidth is uh, quite high compared to our uh, competition. Those are the key differentiators, uh, higher core and the thread count. Okay, that sort of translates into the uh, uh, into the overall uh, performance that we bring to the table. Uh, and the memory capacity is the other two uh, bullets, memory capacity and the bandwidth. When you compare with the Skylake, uh, we are at 33% uh, you know, higher from those uh, metrics. And dual socket support, and we have uh, 56 lanes of uh, PCIe for the connectivity side. So when you take a look at this uh, overall HPC ecosystem, uh, you can all let us that uh, you know we've come a long way, right? Uh, all the way from may it be the hardware side of the fence or the software side of the fence. We have a lot of platforms built, as I uh, have discussed before, and also we have uh, uh, quite a few partnerships with the uh, independent hardware vendors where we work together uh, with them. And the uh, OS optimized for ARM. Uh, as I mentioned, as we, as we uh, discussed, Red Hat just announced the support, and uh, the other ones already uh, have the support on uh, ARM. So specific to HPC, OpenHPC framework is already running on ARM and Thunder X2. And some of the workloads, uh, if you take specific use cases uh, for HPC, uh, whether uh, you have uh, uh, WARF and uh, ECM, WF, and if you take the CFD, uh, you have the open form. Uh, these, uh, these applications are running on ARM and Thunder X2, right? And also a couple of things I wanted to point out from uh, application standpoint. Uh, we have recently announced that the EDA workload is, is running on ARM, okay, by Cadence. It's the, uh, they call it Exilium, it's the paddle, uh, paddle simulator that uh, SOC vendors use to build uh, leading edge uh, chips. Uh, so they, Exilium is actually running on ARM, which is uh, Thunder X2 Blaze plat platform. So that's a great example of uh, another workload coming on board onto the, uh, onto the ARM bandwagon. And Hadoop, uh, we have also made the announcement recently, uh, Hortonworks uh, announced that the commercial support of their applications on ARM, so which, is, uh, which is a big thing as well. So overall, thanks to uh, everybody, you know, including the, uh, you know, obviously ARM uh, played a big role, and all the uh, all the partner ecosystem uh, to get us to this uh, point. Yeah. So ARM Alenia Studio has been quite uh, quite useful for us uh, from uh, workload optimization standpoint. So let's take a quick look at some of the performance metrics. Uh, memory bandwidth, as I mentioned, we have uh, more channels and you can actually put in more DIMMs. 
So if you look at, uh, when we compare with the Intel Xeon Gold line uh, 6148 processor, uh, we come out at 33% uh, higher uh, from, a, uh, from a bandwidth uh, standpoint. Uh, let's, get, let's take a look at some of the spec CPU uh, 2017 data. Right? Uh, the uh, one on the left side is the uh, spec CPU uh, integer, integer uh, performance rate. And uh, the one on the right side is the floating point uh, data. Okay. And uh, you know, we have both ICC as well as the GCC uh, numbers on uh, Intel. As you can see, we're very much compatible uh, when we uh, get the, uh, the optimizations and the compilers on an even scale with GCC. I have uh, you know, spec, uh, spec CPU int rate and spec, into, uh, spec CPU uh, FP rate. And obviously, as I mentioned, we have been working, and uh, you know, the work is uh, still underway uh, with ARM to, uh, to get the optimized compilers in place. So we are targeting uh, higher performance, uh, 10 to 15 percent higher than what we are seeing here with the optimizations. So specific HPC workloads, right? May it be uh, weather or computational fluid dynamics or uh, the you know EDA other workloads. Uh, we picked some key workloads here, some applications, and also uh, some of the mini apps like uh, Clover Leaf and T Leaf, and then we ran it on uh, uh, Thunder X2. So Intel is normalized to 1x, and then if you look at uh, NAMD, uh, we're on par with uh, Xeon Gold. And then uh, if you go look at some of the mini apps, t leaf we're actually better than uh, Thunder X2. So this is a key, uh, key metric, right? As we move along, uh, as I mentioned, there's a lot of work done already, and uh, you know, some, of, uh, some of our team at Cavium is closely working with, uh, with uh, folks at ARM to further optimize the uh, libraries and the compiler. So we're, uh, uh, we're trying to increase the performance uh, even higher. So that completes my presentation. Overall, at, uh, you know, it's, a, it's a big show for us. Uh, we are very much focused in the uh, HPC space. And as you, as you have seen, some of the key announcements have come in this morning uh, from our uh, OEM customers as well as the partners and the announcement that we have made. So we have significant presence at uh, SE. Uh, the, uh, obviously, uh, this is the presentation at the HPC user group. And we have also multiple presentations at different uh, venues at the, uh, at the conference. Uh, and then you can always reach us, cavium.com, uh, for any, uh, any further information. Thank you. We have time for one question. If anybody has one key question. No? Okay. Well, thank you very much.